Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Batman and the Outsiders, issue number 11. <laughs> I'm doing this from memory. So, um, I just read this one, and this is a weird kind of review, because it's one of the frustrating things, um, you know, if you're a writer and you're reading a review, is some things you just can't help. <laughs> like, your, your personality or your point of view or things like this. So, the problem, I actually liked uh, reading this comic quite well. Um, it was, it's basically a fight scene. I, I think I've only read like one or two of the early issues. And I dipped out because I find uh, Black Lightning to be extremely boring. And then you put Black Lightning and the signal on the same team and I'm, I'm out, I'm out. Um, but so subplot wise, I was pretty lost. Something to do with Ra's al Ghul and yeah, that's about it. it. It's basically a big fight scene. But the problem I've realized with an author I like a lot, Brian Edward Hill, is that his characters are like him. Everyone is very reasonable. <laughs> it's a huge problem when you're in heroic, you know, super heroic fiction that you feel like you could talk to everyone. I feel like not only can I work out anything I, you know, any kind of beefs or, you know, uh, personality, well, I don't even think there would be personality conflicts in this world. Uh, everyone, if you've ever, you know, interacted with Brian Edward Hill online, he's very calm, reasonable, thoughtful, intelligent. And he writes everyone like that. <laughs> and I feel like all of these characters would be very good neighbors. Um, but I don't find them very compelling characters or the story. I feel, it feels like the next issue, everyone's just going to talk it out. Ra's al Ghul and his team and Batman and his team, they're all just going to just sit down. They, they're not even going to need a mediator. <laughs> maybe you'll, or maybe Batman is like, thank you for, you know, thank you for coming in, Ra's al Ghul, you know, uh, Black Lightning. You're, can everyone shake hands and introduce, tell, tell us something interesting about yourself. Um, go ahead. Uh, we'll start counterclockwise from um, uh, you. There's really not much to say. It's a bunch of reasonable, thoughtful people, and there's absolutely no tension at all. I, I think I really liked the uh, the art. Uh, Dexter Soy, no comment on that name. Uh, he does good hits. Uh, it's good dynamic composition, and when people get hit, uh, it looks like it hurts <laughs> it looks like you don't but it's funny it's it's very reasonable calm people fighting so it just feels like it's gonna it's gonna die down you know no no need to get involved these people are all gonna talk it out any minute so so i think this might be the shortest review i've ever done and i actually repeated myself like three times already so yeah you need more assholes you need more personality conflicts. You need to know that not everyone is as reasonable as the author. Uh, uh, consider becoming unreasonable uh, when, you're, uh, when you're writing and you're in inhabiting the different, you know, headspace of the different characters. So anyway, geez, I'm not even at four minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo. You're finding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description, and I will have new and old comic book reviews up all this week.